Beware. There is a terribly flawed study out there that suggests that children of gay parents are worse off. And this thing from the University of Texas is a mess. Now, someone better versed in the social sciences could explain in, de in better detail, anyway, why this study is bad. But even I, someone who always avoided social study classes, can see through this one. Of course, I do know what scientific research is like, and it's just that the social sciences always annoyed me, because I'm more in tune with and happier with the physical and life sciences, and that's what I've studied, that mathematics and music and English literature. Uh, but social sciences and social science research always seemed a little bit fuzzy to me. It wasn't something you could really pin down. But I'm going to encourage you to read the uh, Huffington Post article that's referenced below. And here's the rub. I'm actually going to quote from the article because they put it better than I do. It says, But other scientists say that the research is deeply flawed and does not measure the effect of same-sex parenting at all. The study defined same-sex parenting by asking participants if their parents had ever had same-sex relationships and whether they had lived with the parent at that time. That led to a hodgepodge group of people that were, that were then compared with kids in stable married homes. And this is uh, what Judith Stacy, who is a sociologist at, New, at Uni New York University, said. And she was not involved in this research. And she goes on to say, He doesn't have an actual category of gay parents in the project that you can isolate and say that the most important things in this kid's childhood is that they were raised by gay parents. These are kids whose parents, maybe they were divorced, maybe they separated, maybe they had a scandalous affair. We just don't know. In contrast, a fair comparison would have matched up children of same-sex parents with children of heterosexual parents who looked otherwise similar. No extra divorces, no extra separations, no extra t time in foster care for the kids. And this is from Gary Gates, who's a researcher at the Williams Institute, a sexual orientation policy think tank at the University of California, Los Angeles. Well, I think you can see from this, you, you can't just say, hey, did your mom or dad ever sleep with someone of the same sex and were you around at the time? And expect to get decent data from that. This is the most one of the most ridiculous things I've ever heard. And yet, the people who conducted this study actually said that the scholarly and popular consensus that there are no notable differences between the children who grew up with a mother or father in a same-sex relationship and those whose heterosexual mother and father were and are still married is a fiction. Um, this is utterly ridiculous. This isn't even remotely a decent study. Or, I mean, I haven't, of course, seen the study, but that conclusion, just from what I know of the study here, is ridiculous. And, and sometimes this happens, folks. Sometimes someone will do a study and then draw ridiculous conclusions, even though the data may, in some way, be good. And that's a problem sometimes, because you'll hear someone criticize it, just like I did, and say, this, this study is ridiculous. Someone else will come along and say, well, no, no, it's a perfectly good study. The problem is, what do you mean by that? Um, if I'm taking a small sample of people, for example, and I want to um, make statements about that small sample of people, and I've done my research properly, well, that's perfectly okay. But if I then take that small sample of people and I try to extrapolate to a huge number of people, that's ridiculous. So I don't know. Clearly, I haven't seen the study. Uh, hopefully, someone out there will comment more on it, but it just seems utterly ridiculous, and I can't even imagine why they did the study and did it this way. Nevertheless, the University of Texas has now given fuel to every homophobic idiot out there who wants to try to stop gay adoption, who wants to try to stop um, gay foster parents, and even who want to stop gay marriage. Anyway, thanks for listening, and please, please check out this article. I think it's something that people need to know about, because I know it's going to come up in the future. Bye.